I've covered it out for you over here. So, um, so yeah, you'll be good to go. And you know these two very important reactions of nitriles of the CN group. So let's move forward. Substitution with ammonia. So the other reaction that takes place uh, is substitution with ammonia. So first you use ethanolic ammonia, just like the uh, in this time. So other, like the other reactions, and you have to use heat and you have to use high pressure. So we say heat in a sealed tube because a sealed tube will always sealed container. Sorry, a sealed container will always have a high pressure. So that's why you generally say heat. In a, in a sealed container or you can say heat in high pressure both are the same things but you use ethanolic ammonia so when you do this reaction and uh, so uh, one hydrogen atom bonds with the Cl to form HCl from the ammonia one hydrogen atom bonds with the Cl to form HCl and the NH2 that is left because obviously you've taken out one hydrogen atom so NH2 is left and the NH2 is what is, subs is substituting the chlorine atom so from the halogenoalkane, you get the amine. So this is ethylamine. Ethylamine. So this is how you get an amine from a halogenoalkane using these, these react reagents and conditions. So primary, secondary and tertiary hal halogenoalkanes. So, um, if I have CH3, CH2, Cl, which is chloroethane, this is a primary halogenoalkane because the carbon atom which is attached to the chlorine group is in turn attached to another carbon atom, which is this one. So, let's say this is the alpha carbon atom which is attached to the chlorine group and you can see the alpha carbon atom is attached to only one chlorine atom carbon atom sorry it is attached to only one carbon atom so this is called a primary halogenoalkane then if you have for example CH3 hold twice CHCl so in this case, uh, if I draw, so to make it easier for you, I'll draw the skeletal formula. So you can see that it is CH3, CHCl, uh, CH3 whole twice because this carbon atom is attached to two CH3 groups and CHCl. So uh, this is the alpha carbon atom in this case. And you can see that the alpha carbon atom is attached to two different carbon atoms. One is this carbon atom and one is this carbon atom. So this is called a secondary halogenoalkane. So this is called a secondary halogen alkane. Then if we have CS3 hole thrice, CCL. Now in this case, we have so you can see that this is the alpha carbon atom. It is attached to one two and three carbon atoms. So the alpha carbon atom is attached to three different carbon atoms. This is called a tertiary halogen alkene. So these, this is how you define primary, secondary and tertiary halogen alkenes. Now let's move forward. So now what we are going to do is the nucleo subs uh, nucleophilic substitution mechanism and there are two different types of nucleophilic substitutions SN2 and SN1. So what we are doing is we are starting with the SN2 mechanism. So the SN2 nucleophilic substitution mechanism it only takes place with primary halogenoalkanes. So you have to remember this the SN2 nucleophilic substitution mechanism takes place with only primary halogenoalkanes. Pri only primary, okay? So actually saying that the SN2 will only take place with primary is a wrong statement. In fact, I should say primary halogenoalkanes only undergo SN2 mechanisms. They will not undergo SN1. We will talk about what SN1 is, but they will not undergo SN1. 
so primary halogen alkanes will only undergo sn2 mechanisms so let's say let's start with chloroethane which is the primary halogen alkane we talked about so chloroethane will be c